Hey guys, what's up? This is Shukesh and today I want to talk about a software that is a must have for your professional as well as your personal works. It's called PDF Element and you can find the software on the Mac App Store. Just search for PDF Element 7 and what I like most about the software is it's very simple, intuitive and uh, it's by far the best alternative to Adobe Acrobat. Check the description of this video for a flat 40% discount for this software and you can of course try this software free of cost. I have been using the software for a couple of years already and I have to admit this is the best software for converting, for editing, annotating, for signing your PDFs. So let me show you how to use the software. This is the welcome screen. Let me first open a PDF file. The file is quite big with 112 pages but the PDF element 7 is very powerful and efficient. Here on the left you get lots of tools. First let me show you the markup option. You can highlight any part of the PDF with any color and uh, there are other options like strike through, underline and couple of other writing tools to annotate the PDF. Uh, you can use a pencil for handwriting and also input text comments anywhere. So suppose you are writing a book, uh, you can do rectifications, uh, you can put notes for the publishers just like so with text boxes and most importantly this text callout is the best option. Let me show you how does this work. It's mostly useful for annotating images or maps. You can also put sticky notes anywhere on the pages. So now when you hover your mouse pointer over the sticky note, you get the annotation. So that's very helpful. You can draw different shapes like rectangles, circles, lines, arrows, and uh, there are a couple of stamps preloaded into the software as well. And lastly, you can create your own signature using the mouse pointer right on the software PDF Element 7. Now let's talk about the next menu option which is text. That is, you can edit the text on your PDF just like you do on Microsoft Word. Once you click on the text, it will detect the size, the font and if you write something, it will adjust through the paragraph without hampering the rest of the PDF uh, text or pictures. So that's quite handy. Now you can insert images into the PDF file using the image menu option. Just click here, select the image and it will be on the PDF. You can resize it, put it anywhere on the page. The next menu option is also very useful. It's called link. That is, uh, you can link any part of the PDF. There are two options. First of all, you can add link to go to another page on the PDF. There you go. I am now at page 43. With the other option, you can open a web page. So you can link to any part of the PDF to a Wikipedia page or any other web address. Before I talk about forms, which is my favorite feature on this PDF element 7, let me quickly show you the redaction tool, which is very useful if you want to redact any sensitive information like your name, your address, your phone number, email address, etc. Uh, you can manually redact any part of the PDF and you can search for any keyword. The name Einstein is mentioned 220 times in the PDF. So if I want, I can redact the name entirely or from any specific pages. There you go. It's as simple as that. Now you get numerous other features on the PDF element 7. OCR is one of the best options. You can add or edit the background and also add watermarks. A watermark can be a plain text or an image or even a PDF. Let me show you how to create a text watermark. Just write the text and you can change the color, the shape, the font, the size the position, even the transparency. So very, very handy tool. 
The other tools include add or edit header and footer. You can crop pages. Uh, there is a PDF converter that is you can convert your PDFs to any other format that can be Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Let me give you a demo. Let me add a PDF file. You can add multiple PDFs and combine them as well. PDF element 7 supports batch processing that is you can apply uh, same attributes to different PDFs at the same time. So these are the export formats you can convert one or multiple PDFs to and uh, OCR can be performed at the same time. OCR stands for optical character recognition that is it will uh, scan and detect the text on the PDFs which can be on an image or on plain text. So OCR is a really very handy tool. Let me give you a demo. You can simply just take a snapshot of any text, any book and convert that into an editable PDF. Uh, you can also make it searchable text image. So the very powerful OCR has successfully detected the text on this image. Uh, you can simply edit the text. You can uh, change the font, the size, input text as you wish. So it's as simple as that. Lastly, let's talk about forms. I have downloaded this form from online and I can make it an interactive web form. Just click on the form icon and you get lots of options. Of course, you can start from the scratch using MS Word or PDF element itself. And now you can make it interactive by adding text fields so that the end user, which can be your employees, your students, your tenants, can simply click on the text field and input text. To make this thing easier, you can also add tooltips that is uh, whenever the mouse pointer is hovered over the text input field, this text will uh, pop up. Let me show you. There you go. You can also add clickable text boxes, radio buttons, drop down menus, list box, etc. Lastly, you can also add field for digital signature. So the end user can just click and sign the document using their digital ID just like that. Now what's most interesting is you can also perform OCR like function on this form as well. Uh, you can apply form field recognition that is it will recognize the input fields automatically and you might not even need to uh, edit the form. So it's very, very useful, I will say. Let me show you what's the end user view. Tooltips, text fields are automatically added. So another time saving feature of PDF element 7. It has even recognized the signature field. So very, very powerful software. So definitely try this software out. Don't forget about the 40% discount. So check the description for more information. I hope that this video was useful. See you on my next review. Bye bye and keep in touch.